Many of you have reached out to us about a very rough stretch of highway, I-71 downtown near the Lytle Tunnel. Nine on your side went digging for answers about this problem. A lot of you have experienced this, and you've already endured the Lytle Tunnel restoration, and we found there are even more headaches for drivers coming soon. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has more. Get ready for some big changes if you drive southbound I-71 near the Lytle Tunnel. A major reconstruction project is about to start, and navigating the area is going to become even more difficult than it already is. As vice president of Sea Forward in Covington, Brian Rushman is on the road a lot to see clients. But one stretch of the interstate he tries to avoid is southbound I-71 near the Lytle Tunnel. It's really treacherous. There's, there's people close to you on both sides. Um, it, it's not safe. you got to swerve to get in there, and it's always congested. The problem is the interstate is on a bridge spanning Eggleston, Butler, and Cutler streets. The deck is deteriorating from daily pounding of 100,000 vehicles traveling the area. We have been patching, and the patches are the what's holding. It's everything around the patches that crumble. Brian Cunningham of the Ohio Department of Transportation says a $10 million fix starts in just a few weeks with the southbound lanes. A crossover is going to be built to reroute traffic. We'll be moving southbound traffic onto the northbound lanes just south of I-471. That traffic will then go back into the southbound lanes just north of the Lytle Tunnel. That means closing the southbound 3rd Street ramp into downtown. Northbound, the ramp from 2nd Street is already shut down. The news left Rushman speechless and thinking of alternate routes. I think I'm going to have to go downtown and take another bridge across to get back to Kentucky. We're really going to, you know, encourage people to be patient uh, because the work needs to be done, and, and there's nothing we can do about that other than get out there and get it finished. But as the saying goes, no pain, no gain. The end result will tell, and hopefully that it will be worth it. Next, some of the northbound lanes coming out of the tunnel are going to be reconstructed. After that, it's repaving the entire interstate from the Lytle Tunnel to the Norwood Lateral. Tom McKean, not on your side, downtown.